Let's be honest, your browser looks kinda boring. Plain colors, standard tabs, nothing exciting, right? But what if I told you that you could turn Zen Browser into something sleek, futuristic, and transparent? Today, I will show you exactly how to install a stunning transparent theme on Zen Browser, making it look next level. And to really make it pop, I'm using my Breeze Wallpaper Pack, a collection of clean aesthetic backgrounds that pair perfectly with a transparent browser. If you want your setup to look just as good, grab the pack now by clicking the link in the video description. So if you're ready to level up your Zen Browser experience, let's get started. Now, the first thing which you want to do is to make sure that you have Zen Browser up to date. And you can click here on Windows three dots on top left corner, click on help here, and then down below, you'll find an option about Zen. Click on here and make sure that it says here, Zen is up to date. And otherwise click here to restart the Zen Browser to finish updating. Now we are pretty much done with updating your Zen Browser. Click here on search. So make sure that you search here for for the about column support and then under the application basics right here make sure that you locate your profile folder which is right here click here open folder and once you open the folder in the file explorer click here on new and then here click on folder now make sure that you call it chrome and now after you've done that you can simply go here to close your zen browser and i'll make sure that you restart it so you've pretty much done the most important part here now open the new tab and search for nebula zen browser and click on the first link, which is GitHub one. And I will also put this link in the video description. So make sure that you pause the video right now, go to video description and click on the link. And while you are down there, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying this type of content. Now, once you are here, click on the releases. And here it says that this theme is actually supported with Zen 1.9.1b, but we already have the latest version right here, which is 1.10b. So this theme will also be updated to this latest release but don't worry you can also install the older version of the theme onto your latest release of Zen browser. Now once you are here make sure that you scroll down until you find this file which is called chrome.zip. Click on this and it should start the download. Click on OK here and now make sure that you navigate here to the file explorer. Now once you are here click on the chrome here and then click here on extract all and then once again click on the extract. Now once you've successfully extracted all the files you should have here two of the folders. Now the first one is compressed one and the other one is extracted one. Click on the extracted one and then once more until you get to this contents of the folder. So we have here user chrome, user content as well as nebula. Now once you are here right click on nebula folder and then here click on cut. Now go back to the chrome folder which you created before for your profile in Zen. Remember, you can go here by just going to the new tab here, go to the about once again and support and under the application basics, as I told you before, click on open folder under the profile folder section. Now here, go to the Chrome folder and make sure that you paste in inside this Nebula folder like so. And now the next part is that you will have to copy user chrome.css file as well. Now, if you don't see the ending of the file, you can simply go here under the view, click on show, and then here enable file name extensions. And now you should see .css ending. Now you can simply cut this file and now you can simply paste it inside the Chrome folder, which you created before inside your profiles folder of Zen browser. Here, I will just paste it. So right now you should have here user Chrome.css as well as Nebula as well. Now, once you've done that, you can here open the Zen browser and now you can close it. And and after you've done that, you can now open the Zen browser once again. And now you've successfully installed this theme. And one thing which you should also do here is to go here to the about config. So here, open the new tab and search here for the about column config. Click on enter and you should get here the message proceed with caution. Click here, accept the risk and continue. And now what you will do here is to go back to the guide on GitHub page. And here you will just copy this option. Browser tabs allow transparent browser. So make sure that you paste it right here. And if this is set to false, make sure that you change this to 
to the true. So just like this. And now you can just close the browser once again and click on the Zam browser to reopen it. And that is about it. Now, what you will also have to do is to install third party program to make this blur even nicer. So what you will have to do here is to go to the GitHub page, which I will also put in the video description below, right below the like button, by the way. And once you are here on the Mika for everyone app, you will go here under the releases. And here you can scroll down until you find this option, which is Mika for everyone dot app installer. You can click on this and click on OK to save the file. And now make sure that you go here back to the downloads folder and click on Mika for everyone installer and install it. Now, once you've successfully installed Mika for everyone program, by the way, this is only for Windows users. You can go here to the system tray and here you will find the Mika for everyone app icon. Make sure that you click on it. And once you are here, click on add new rule and here add process rule. Here, enter the name for the process. So make sure that you call it Zen and you can select here Zen from the drop down menu and click here on add rule here then click on Zen and then for the background type right here make sure that you change this to the acrylic and now once you've done that you can simply open the Zen browser once again make sure that you close it just like so and then open it once again and now you should have even more transparent and really nice looking theme for your Zen browser and I think this is pretty much it now you can see how really nicely it looks here and the you can also see here the background behind this blur effect. Now to spice things up, you can also install another really cool extension for the Zen browser, which is called Bonjour. And this one will add new tab page on your Zen browser. So simply click on add to Firefox and click here on add. And now whenever you will open a new tab here, you will see this really nice looking new tab page. You will get the weather here and the greetings and the date, of course, as the clock. And now you can click here on the settings and customize it to your own liking. For example, you can change the blur intensity, you can change the brightness and other stuff like the weather location, notes, quotes, and the search bar as well, if you are into that. Now, I think that the theme overall looks very, very sleek, and it also has some really nice animations. As you can see here, you can right click here on the sidebar and click here to enable the compact mode. And now if I hover the mouse over it, you will see here how nicely this sidebar comes up. So yeah, this is how you can simply make your Zen browser transparent. And now, for example, you don't want to use any of the themes right now on your Zen browser and you want to go back to default. Now, what you will have to do here, click on this option right here and now click here on manage extensions. Click on the three dots next to the Bonjour extension and click here remove. And now what you will have to do next is to open the new tab and here search for the about colon config. So just like this and click on accept the risk and now inside the about config menu paste this inside and make sure to change this to false and now once you've done that you will also go here back to the new tab and here make sure that you search for the about colon support and then under the application basics open the folder next to the profile folder right here now once you are here navigate to the chrome folder and you can just simply remove it so just like this and now what you will have to do you will have to close the zen browser altogether and open the zen browser once again and that is pretty much it of course you can still use the program mika for everyone or if you want to remove it you can simply exit it from the the system tray just like so and then you will navigate here to the settings you will go here under the apps installed apps and here you will see Mika for everyone VNUI 3 and you can click on three dots here and click on uninstall and uninstall once again and that is pretty much it how you guys can successfully re revert back to default Zen browser look now with that said I think this is pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you guys you guys can also check out the wallpaper pack called Breeze by clicking the first link in the video description below. Have an amazing rest of your day guys and I will see you all around in the next one.